guys, welcome back to off of here. So uh, we'll continue on to, uh, well, part 11. So last time we pretty much finished chapter 4, and now we're, I think this is the, uh, I guess, last scene before we move into chapter 5. And uh, let's see. All right, ma'am's decision. Dai and the others celebrated their victory over Flazard with a feast. The fully healed Leona also in attendance. She thanked them for their efforts. However, when she turned to thank Hyunkel separately for lending his strength, the swordsman revealed himself to be the commander who destroyed her kingdom, asking her to pass judgment on him. Defying expectations, Leona deemed that from then on, Hyunkel would spend all of his remaining days serving as a disciple of Avon. She made him swear to risk his life for friendship, justice, and love, and to never allow the past to bind him. Moved to tears at her merciful judgment, Hyunkel accepted her conditions. The feast continued as Baddock and the other soldiers shared a drink with Crocodile. Leona and Mam also found time to talk, during which Leona implored her to drop the formalities. Afterward, Mam spotted Hyunkel and Crocodile quietly slipping away into the night. When she asked where they were going, they answered they were off to Sovereign Rock Castle to learn what the Dark Army is up to. After the pair promised to meet again later, Mam wished them safe travels and watched them depart. This man is a monster! Even Carl Kingdom, with its dozens of powerful knights, is on the brink of ruin after only five days. I see. That boy Dai seems quite impressive. He and his allies managed to fight off the entire Dark Army. He's an incredibly strange child with mysterious abilities. Whenever this mark shines on his forehead, he exhibits the most amazing powers. Mark. <sighs> Zabora, this shining mark doesn't happen to resemble the face of a dragon, does it? A dragon? Now that you mention it, it does seem similar. Crucial Hagar, I know what you're up to! Uh, it's no good. Whoever made this must have been a genius. It's completely beyond me. Oh. Is that full heal? That's right. It's the most powerful heal spell that Princess Leona can cast. It cures even the most severe injuries, as well as recovers stamina during battle. Leona's so amazing. Well, obviously. She's a sage in training, after all. She can even use attack spells, though the Troika have a bit more strength. Truly an all-round spellcaster. I'm going to talk to Uncle Matariv. Maybe he can fix my magic bullet gun. Your magic power seems to have increased. Don't let that surprise you! Assist! Crack. <laughs> now boom. Light spell, Levizoom. Now, when did you learn that? It's easy if you already know Zoom. I'm not gonna let the others leave me in the dust forever. <laughs> Levizoom. Don't get cocky with me, young disciple. I may be old, but in a one-on-one -on -one fight, there isn't a being alive who can beat me at magic. Can't you teach me some cool spells, too? Ugh, you're teaching Pop, and he's improving so much! How come I'm stuck doing the basics? You fool! What use is it knowing all the same spells that your friend does? A hero can do anything, although a warrior may possess more strength. 
And a mage can perform more magic. A hero is a jack of all trades and master of none. But they do possess an ultimate weapon that no one else has. And what's that? Isn't it obvious? A hero's weapon is courage. You can face any enemy with the right kind of courage. Understand? Pop here's not going to improve his magical skills on his own. That makes a party. That's what companions are for. Courage, huh? I suppose that's something I don't have. A weapon of my own. That's it. Without that... <gasps> Just your presence is bad enough. Interesting. You really did inherit your father's strength, didn't you? Strength? My father's strength? Papnica Kingdom is starting to rebuild. Which just leaves the three of us, you guys. The Dark Army's fortress is here in the mountains of Guildmane. Mem says Crocodile and Yunkel are on their way there to scout the area. Currently, our forces lack both weapons and manpower. So rather than attacking, we should focus on building up our strength. All right. Then why don't we all go and look for some new weapons? Sounds good to me. What do you think, ma'am? Listen, everyone. I've been thinking. I'm going my own way for a while. What? How come? Why so sudden? With my weapon broken, I can't use attack spells. Plus, Leona is far better at heal spells. At this rate, I'm going to end up being a burden. But that's not true! She's right. You should listen. From now on, we're going to be facing more powerful enemies than before. And without trying to get stronger, any one of us could become a burden. You never hold back, Leona. I really admire that, so thank you. I've decided. I'm going to return to Romos to train, to find something only I can do. Martial arts. I figured I'd become a martial artist! Alright, so uh, what is the item I get? Uh, Alright, Disciple Avon. Alright, uh, here we go. Right, Kidman. <laughs> Alright. This should lead us to. Uh, there's more? Seven. Okay, the Sovereign Rock Castle. Alright, you know what? I'm completely wrong. <laughs> he uncle and Crocodile have betrayed us. Flassard is dead. With the six Legion commanders reduced to only the three of us, our forces are at half the strength that they should be. That sound, that's the sound of the Reaper Flute! Good evening, and greetings, inhabitants of Sovereign Rock Castle. Let me introduce myself. My name is Kilvern. And I'm Piroro! Surely you've heard of him! The Dark King's personal assassin! A deadly Reaper who silently erases those who cross his majesty! And why is the Reaper here at Sovereign Rock? Has someone's incompetence warranted a visit? This is surprising, Mist. It's been years since I've heard your voice. Something must be wrong. Centuries of silence, and now you have so much to say. Hmm. You're the one who talks too much, Kill. These two know each other? And now... Hadlar, I hear your performance has been slipping as of late. He's been botching things up! Ever since he failed to take out Dai the Hero, commanders have fallen, kingdoms have been reclaimed! It's a whole big mess! And recently, he brought out the whole army, but was still defeated! Silence! The plan to kill the boy is still in progress. In time. Then you'd better hurry up. King Vern is a patient god, but even he has his limits. If you should fail again... 
Then have no fear. I will destroy those brats without hesitation. By my own hand! Not so fast. The next to fight die is me, Dragon Master General Baran. It's too soon. Has he already destroyed the Karl Kingdom? <laughs> ah, so I guess you've been saving the best for last. In that case, I trust there's no issue. Wait, Baran! In order to regain the Dark King's trust, I should... Dark Commander Hadlar, I am growing tired of your excuses. I now know the reason why you've been attempting to keep me away from the boy. It's because the boy is a Dragon Knight. The, the Dragon Knight? You mean from the legends? He finally knows. He was the one person I didn't want finding out. So, leave it to me, Commander. No, no! There is no way! You will do nothing! And that is an order! Besides, we don't have any proof yet that he really is a Dragon Knight! I need to find out for myself. And I said no! Stop! <laughs> I believe I know what's going on here, Hadlar. If this die really is what you fear, you can't let our friend Baran here near him, can you? <laughs> oh well, you can all squabble on your own time. I'd like to finish what I came here for. But that's... the Key of Burn! Crocodine and Hyunkle, was it? Those two know the locations of Sovereign Rock Castle. King Vern has ordered me to move it immediately. It's really happening! Sovereign Rock Castle moves! And now, let's all enjoy a pleasant little stroll. Wee wee! <laughs> After Mam parted ways with her friends to study martial arts, she headed deep into the mountains of Romos to find the legendary Grand Master, the so-called God of Martial Arts. Pop was unsure how to feel about her leaving, turmoil, which Leona sensed. She told him that if he died in battle, that would be his final farewell to Mam. Was that really the note he'd want to end on? And so, Pop resolved to reveal his feelings to Mam. Fearing he might not have another chance, he quickly dashed after her offering to zoom her to her destination. Though Mam was reluctant at first, she ultimately decided to take him up on it. Unfortunately, they arrived not in the mountains of Romos, but rather the dark forest where they first met. After reminiscing a bit, seeing as the pair were alone now, Pop summoned the courage to tell Mam how he felt. But before he could say a word, Mam praised him for how much he'd improved, declaring she wanted to catch up to him. Struck by her earnestness, Pop vowed to grow stronger himself, parting ways without revealing his secret love to her. Meanwhile, Hyunkle and Crocodine arrived at where Sovereign Rock Castle should have been, only to discover that it had moved. Sensing that something terrible was brewing, Crocodine returned to tell the others, while Hyunkle followed the castle's tracks. The temple recollection resonates with the new memories of your adventure, and now you can proceed beyond layer 7. So, so far we have only gone to layer 6, so I'm assuming going to be 7, 8, and 9. And we are finally in chapter 5. Alright, 
where are we? Uh, delving into the temple of recollection. Uh, though our heroes have overcome much, they need to be prepared for a battle even uh, to battle even stronger foes standing their way. Try venturing into the temple of recollection to gather some bond memories, then enhance them to give Dai and the others a major boost in strength. Before long, the party will ready for uh, will be ready for anything, right? Okay. So put it this way, I have already been doing that, and. I hope this is not like, you know, the last chapter or at least maybe one of the last chapters, but I heard the game is pretty short. Off to the department store. So I'm going to continue with doing that because if you look at it, my character level, I'm actually pretty over level. Technically right now it should be maybe like mid-20s, but I did spend time doing some Don't leveling. Let your guard down. Um, yeah, I'll see what happens. I'm going to follow through with this. All right, let's go. Give it my So we get a updated, Ma'am ventured I guess, to outfit. pursue her martial arts training. Meanwhile, Dai approached Leona, hoping to find a suitable replacement for his steel broadsword. The princess suggested that they pay a visit to the department store in Ben Garna. Intrigued by the idea of a place that sells everything imaginable, Dai agreed, and the pair set off. For his part, Pop asked Madara about Dai's crest, only for the Grand Sorcerer to remain mum, realizing it was the Dragon Crest. Before Pop left to catch up with Dai, Madara bestowed upon him a Sorcerer Cape, Shining Staff, and a belt as a parting gift. He then told Pop that Dai would likely hit a major wall soon, instructing that Pop needed to be there for his friend. Dai and Leona made for Ben Garna in an air balloon, albeit without her servant's permission. Dai worried about leaving Pop behind, who had planned to accompany them. Leona, having been keen to take the trip alone with Dai, replied that it didn't matter whether Pop came along. Pop, upon catching up with Elevazoon, took offense to her dismissal. Thus, in the end, the trio sailed onward to Ben Garna. Ben Garna. It's considered the safest country in the world. Thanks to its superior military and industry, it's kept the Dark Army at bay with an abundance of resources and weapons, all backed by the world's greatest economy. So this is a department store? Let's see, clothes and armor are on the fourth floor, and weapons are on the fifth. Wow, this is so cool! 3,800 gold?! Oh, hey, Dai, feel free to buy anything under 5,000 gold. Metals and textiles from Papnica, they always sell for quite a lot. So, if I sell these dresses, we'll get 20 to 30,000 gold. Hey, how about this? Oh, are you kidding? What kind of sage dresses like that? How about... Hey! Quit messing around, would ya? Come on, this actually has pretty high defense. So, Pop, what about you? I'm good. I got a new weapon and a cape already. You pick something. In that case, right there! Okay, this'll have to do. <laughs> uh, do they have one a little more your size? It's fine! I'll get used to it! Okay, let's find Dai a new weapon. A dragon's bane. It can pierce a dragon's hide, which is said to be harder than steel. It's a top quality blade. My friends, since this is our only piece of its kind, it will be put on auction. Get real. These things always go for over 15,000 gold. What do you buy it with? Mommy's allowance? Die, Pop, 
Let's buy that dragon's bane. Are you serious? We don't have 15,000 gold? I have 16,000 gold right here. Besides, weapons like this don't turn up every day, you know. Don't even bother. Using weapons more powerful than you are? Don't waste your money like one of those ridiculous fools. They're not really strong. They're just pretending. Grandmother, that's enough. Please, forgive us. Grandmother has no manners. They looked kind of like Sears. Yeah, and hey, the younger one was a cutie patootie, wouldn't you say? Hmm. This country's finished. All that's advanced is its appearance. Hmm? What is it, Marla? Grandmother, something's coming. Several beings with terrifying power. Monsters! aren't working! Just how tough is its hide? Alright, so we got a new outfit for the next chapter, obviously. Uh, Bangarna, uh, and then also, of course, the uh, Bangarna ones, right? Alright, so hopefully, do I get a battle next? Can I, can I get a... Wait, Besiege the Dragon Legion? Legend? Alright, so let me, let me see if I can change my I'll outfit. Give it I'll give it right, there we go, thank God. There we go. <laughs> I'm looking nice, looking nice. <laughs> Same thing here. Looking nice. I mean... Okay, a wider belt. Okay, that's it. Such a basic stuff. Alright, let's go. We'll continue to... Uh, yeah, there we go. 17,000! 17,500! 18,000! Hey, I think that's enough now, princess. Come on. I've got this. We're fine. We stand at 18,000. Speak now or forever hold your peace. 19,000. Uh -huh. Today's feature item, the Dragon's Bane, goes to the merchant, Mr. Gopple, for the whopping price of 18,000 gold. <laughs> what are you doing, Goma-chan? Leona, it's no big deal. I'll just use a normal weapon. I can still fight without it. That's not it. Watching those goons just walk away with that sword, I can't stand it. It would be better put to use in our hands. True. I doubt those guys care about fighting for justice. What? What's this? Oh, this is bad! Look at that! An army of dragons! They're headed right for us! And one, two, three, four, five, five dragons! Do you think that's the Dark Army's Dragon Legion? Regular monsters are one thing, but I draw the line at dragons. Hey, Gopple, you bought the dragon's bane, right? Why don't you go use it to drive them off? Don't be ridiculous. I bought this thing to make money. I'm no good in a fight. Pathetic. But, having said that, what do we do? With this many dragons, we might be in a little over our heads. I think we should fight. Those dragons could have come here for us. Either way, we should try to buy a little time, so that the people of the city have a chance to escape. You've changed my mind about you, princess. It seems like true leaders really do prove themselves in the heat of the moment. Is that so? My opinion of you hasn't changed yet. Watch me. Die. All the dragons, I can take care of them. You take care of the big guy. And Princess, you evacuate the people in this building. I got it. Everyone! We need to get out of here. Right now! Okay! Here I go! Oh, the 
isn't working. It's too hard to move around. All right, let's go, Goma-chan. Please, help my mommy. We need to move this rock. Draw the Hydra away to give you time! Okay. So now don't... Uh, dunk? Manipulates gravity to create a super gravitational shield. Slows movement of the enemy. Okay, so I think this is something they may want us to use. Here's the battle. Alright, so... I'm gonna <laughs> change... Let's see. Uh, Earth slash... Air slash... Probably air slash. Wait, but Donk is not here. Is it? Oh, there we go. Pop has it. So Sizz, Crackle, probably 100 put in C, Sizzle. All right, so I'm gonna change Fizzle with Donk. Maybe that's something that will um, help. But one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to a tempo recollection and to boof, uh, boost that spells committed. right here. I should have enough to boost the spells of. All right, let's go up. Okay, and then do another one. I can probably get to level four with all the stuff that I have. All right, I could go level five, but I think I'm good for now. All right. So I am going to go in and battle now. Let's do with this. Wait, solo? <laughs> Gee. Strong. Okay, either way, I think I can do it. Let's uh, level 24 request. I'm at 37. I should be okay, even with my poor gameplay. We'll see. Oh God, boss fight. All right, defeat Hydra. All right, let's go. I have no idea what this attack is gonna be, so I'm gonna try to, all right, fireball, fireball, fire, four. Oh, I got hit, damn it. All right. Lock it. I'm gonna try to Wait, did it just, Jesus, did it just, oh my God, it's bad, it's bad. They're basically using this to uh, try to get me blocked. Right. Wave slash. Wave slash. Yeah. I'm gonna use one of the zap slash. This is I don't even know his, his HP. Oh, there we go. Halfway. Not halfway. Well, it's very tanky. Basically, look. All right. I'm gonna get to this. Do it again. So basically, oh, there we go. Oh, oh. oh man, what? Even those hurts? Slash, trash, whatever. I will never back down. I got it. I think. <laughs> Did it. For now. All right. What do I got? Five eighty-six. That's actually not bad. For uh, for repeated um, EXP boost. All right. What do I get? Alright. Alright, the Dragon Knight. So maybe this is where I reveal. There we go. 
grandmother, is that crest what I think it is? I never thought I would actually see it for myself. The legendary Dragon Knight in battle. Bane! My dragon's Bane! Die? That was amazing! Hey, are you okay? I'm scared! He's so scary! I'm scary? Uh, why is everyone looking at me like that? What did I... Because you're not human. And seeing your inhuman fighting abilities has them all terrified. Humans can be so selfish, even now after you've protected their city. <laughs> I got you! <laughs> my name is Kilvern, but my rather insulting friends call me the Reaper. Are you the Dragon Legion Commander? Commander? <laughs> I'm not that distinguished. I'm just a servant. The Dark Army has been buzzing with speculation about your identity. I was sent to learn more, so I borrowed a few dragons from the Dragon Legion. And now, as a result, I was able to see what you really are. <laughs> Oh, also, the real Dragon Legion Commander will probably show up soon to lure you into hell. Hope you enjoy it! <laughs> what did he mean by my... my identity? Hang on, you called Dai the Dragon Knight, didn't you? Indeed. He must be the Dragon Knight from the legends of our homeland. I am Nabara the Seer, and this is my granddaughter, Merla. We're from the Terran Kingdom. Terran is to the north of here. They call it the Mystic Country. The Mystic Country, Terran. If I go there, I might learn something. So this is Terran? Gorgeous. Yeah, but it's kind of folksy. More of a village than a kingdom. But, you know, I'm really happy the Dark Army hasn't attacked this place. To be blunt, it's because it has no tactical value. Terran is a kingdom by name alone. It has no military power. Quite right. Love for nature, devotion to the gods. Because of these, our king forbade the development of weapons and goods. He said they would bring disaster upon us. But with a lack of industry, our country also became weakened. Everybody prefers a life filled with luxury. Eventually, the population moved away to find it, and this country was left to rot. Now there are only about 50 people. Of course, we were among those who left. Can't run a fortune-telling business in a country of only 50 people. But I still love this... this quiet little country. Hmm. <laughs> She's rather a strange one. Madame Nabara, I need you to tell me! There's answers out there about my identity, and I have to find them! Follow me. Look inside. That, my boy, is the crest of the dragon. Is that the symbol that appears on my forehead? Yes, it's identical. Terran worships the god of dragons. This crest is revered and feared as a sign of the god of dragons' power. 
He who bears this crest on his forehead is the Dragon Knight. But what does that mean? That Dai may not be human at all. We believe it is a servant of the gods. According to the legends, the Dragon Knight wields awesome power. It can cast any spell, and with the heavens, earth, and sea as its allies, it will destroy all of creation. They could be our savior, or our destroyer. All that is written is that they shall wield power like a reincarnation of the Dragon God. However, there is a forbidden temple at the bottom of this lake. The soul of the God of Dragons is said to rest there. It's a sacred place in Terran. If you really are connected in some way to the legend of the Dragon Knight, perhaps you can enter that temple and see for yourself. I'm going down there, alone. But shouldn't we all go? No, I... I'm doing this myself. I just... I've never wondered who I am before. I washed up on Dermline Island as a baby and was raised among monsters. Grandpa Brass was hard on me, but he really cared. The monsters never... they never excluded me just because I wasn't like them. But humans won't accept me unless... unless I am like them. That's why I want to find the truth. I... I don't want you or Leona to hate me! Die! I... You idiot! Worrying about things that don't even matter. I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends! I... I don't care if you're a monster or not. That... That never mattered! Okay, so the tempo. Do I get to... Oh my god, even more story. But this is a side quest, alright. Just as our hero set out for the Terran Kingdom, Marley sends more Dragon Legion monster in the area, you urging Dai to take care of them first. That's what we will do exactly because I am itch for battle. So we all gonna <laughs> I'm be getting here. strong! Alright, let's go. We have all four of our So being side quests, you can actually assign all four party members, which is great. Because right, Oh god, alright. Go. Let's just um let's just Okay, so two monsters right there, obviously. Get them as fast as possible. This is also the Dream Dragon. It looks just like Dream Dragon in Dragon Quest. Again, I said like basically every monster is true to. Oh! Wait, all the slime, metal slimes. Come on, get them. Yeah, we gotta get them. Let's get them. Get them. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, me and my EXP, uh, here we go. Okay, now, back to this one. So basically, all the monsters are very much the same, even the weapons, it's true to the Dragon Quest uh, game series. That's also why it's so interesting uh, when they first came out. And the other thing is that that grandma, uh, Nabila, that reminds me of um, Dragon, Dragon Ball Z, you know, the... Uh, Tommy's and his sister, the uh, the witch, is it Papa? I forgot what her name is. All right. So with that, because of the three metal slime, we got another 1,500. So now I'm at 39. Pop is at 33. Mem is at 35, which unlock another slot. And then obviously Hanko is brought back up to 31. He joined us late. That's why he has a little bit less. And uh, okay, that was. Pretty chill. So I am going to go to Mam Don't let your guard and then see if I can do another um let's see which one should I add? So she's going to be pretty much gonna be a fighter, a martial artist. 
So probably something that's more... I don't really need this for her. Um, air slash attack plus 12. Um, technically that's the one that we should use. Because, you know what, for now. 35, because Dai's also using this. All right, I'm gonna go back to see if just if it's just the two <laughs> dragons, strong. what EXP are we getting? Because it's still All formidable. Right, because it's rather quick. Um, wait, there. Wait a second, the metal slime is there all along. Oh, never mind. So maybe this is the place where I can actually get EXP up. All right, so I'm gonna have to get the first one out of this app. Okay, the first one out. Alright, I'm gonna try to get the metal slimes. I, I'm not sure because the other ones, the other side quests that we were doing, uh, the other missions we were doing, um, it's kind of got like a random spawn. So it's not like, it's not like we're doing it. Um, and so far now it's 200, it's 100% spawn rate. So this might be a place where the game is like, you know what, if you guys want to get to be up, just, just level up. Um, who knows? But I'm capitalizing this right now. Take that. Ah. Done. All right. Cool. I will keep taking these. Could have been worse. Look at this. Level forty. Attack at plus fifteen percent. Nice. I think I'm like. OP, so, alright, level up, alright, so, you know what, let's move on to see the story, alright, so I just need a little bit of battle, there's too much storytelling. Dai entered the underwater temple, encountering a strange crystal that referred to itself as the guardian of the place. He tried to ask this crystal about who he is, however, the crystal replied that only a dragon knight is allowed to enter the temple. Meaning that Dai must be one. It then spoke of how the Dragon Knight was created by the God of Dragons, God of Darklings, and God of Humans long ago as the ultimate creature. Just as Dai then asked why such a creature was created, the crystal sent someone else entering the temple. Who are you? I am the Dragon Legion Commander, Baran. This is the Dragon Legion Commander, the real deal. And there's something about him. So you're die. That's right. If you're the Dragon Legion Commander, does that mean you're here to kill me? No, I'm not. The Dragon Crystal must have already told you the truth about your identity. I want your power, Dai. Now come and serve me, and together we shall destroy the human world. Serve you? Destroy the human world? You're joking! I make no such joke. It's what the legendary Dragon Knights were born to do, after all. So you have not learned yet. Very well. I will teach you everything the Dragon Crystal did not. Long ago, when the gods first created this world, three species ruled the land. The humans, the Darklings, and the Dragons. These three species fought bloody battles for control of the ancient world. The gods lamented this conflict and decided someone should oversee their creation. The gods of dragons, darklings, and humans convened and came to an agreement. To create a being with the strength of dragons, the magic power of darklings, and the heart of humans. An ultimate warrior, the Dragon Knight. If any force should ever hold ambitions to dominate the world, it is the Dragon Knight's duty to wipe them out and administer divine punishment. Well, 
if what you're telling me is true, isn't the Dark King Vern the real problem? He's the one who's trying to conquer the world! No, the humans are the evil ones. King Vern only seeks to wipe them out for the sake of the rest of the world. I'm on the side of humanity no matter what you say! It was the Dark Army that took my Master Avon's life! I'd rather die! Dragon Legion Commander Baron, take this! Avon Strash! The Avon Strash! It didn't work? I would rather not have to harm you, but if this is truly how you feel, I will have to take you with me by force! I sense it. A being with massive power right below us! Look! Is that Dai? Are you okay? What in the world happened? What? Who's he? He's got the same crest as Die. He's part of the Dark Army. Dragon Legion Commander Baron. It can't be. Only one Dragon Knight is supposed to exist. Correct. I am a true Dragon Knight created by the gods to watch over this world. But there exists an anomaly. This boy, this friend of yours. He is a Dragon Knight by blood. It's time. Time for you to embrace your duties and destroy what's left of humanity with me. Look, I already told you. I will never do that. Not right now, perhaps. During the early years of childhood, a Dragon Knight is no different from a normal human. But as you grow older and begin to exhibit the power of dragons, humans will start to fear, reject, and persecute you. When that happens, you will be the one to suffer. Screw your nonsense! Dai's our friend, you understand? No matter what he is, we will never persecute him! Oh, but... Princess, he'll die! He can't fight in that shape. I'll try to deal with this guy in the meantime! Princess! Got it. Full heal! Perfect. That should patch him right up. I will be taking the boy with me. No! You can't have him! You may have something in common with Dai, but that does not give you the right to just take him! I do have the right. This boy is my son. His real name is Dino. He's lying! I say you're a liar! Dai told me that he washed up on Dermline Island as an infant. Have you got any proof that you're family? The crest on his forehead should be more than proof enough for you. Only one person in the world aside from me could have the dragon crest. The son I lost 11 years ago. My boy Dino. Then you're certain that you're the only bloodline of the Dragon Knight? What if you're wrong? Wait, what about his mother? Where is the woman who gave birth to him? The boy's mother. The child does indeed bear a striking resemblance to his mother. He does? However, that's of no concern to you humans. Astonishing! So Baran is Dai's father? Correct. Over a decade has passed, and now we are witness to the tearful reunion. But don't forget that I'm the one who arranged this emotional moment. After all, I uncovered the truth that a certain coward in our ranks was hiding. 
How dare you? Silence! The great Dark King shall grace us with his presence now. Contain yourselves. <laughs> if I must. I suppose this is Dark King Vern's throne room. We welcome you, your grace. Well done, all of you. You may raise your heads. I see things are getting interesting. Yes. There has been some debate among the commanders as to whether or not Dai is a Dragon Knight. Therefore, I went to ascertain the truth as a neutral party. Hadlar was very opposed to that. Could he have known all along? This dirty little... Mistburn, what do you think of the boy's power? I gave Flazard the most powerful armor in my arsenal. To test Dai's strength, the child wields a terrifying amount of power. <laughs> oh, to think I could have two Dragon Knights under my command. General Baran must be rewarded if he succeeds in recruiting the boy. Indeed, if he does, he may take the seat of Dark Commander. But King Vern! My decision has been made. I knew it. What I was afraid of has come to pass. So this is the reason why Hadlar was so desperate to keep Dai from Baran. However, it appears things will not go that smoothly. Don't you understand, child? I am far stronger than you could ever hope to be. I still have my... my final weapon! That's right. What matter have said? A hero's weapon! The only weapon I have left that might work on you... ...is what lets me face any powerful enemy. And that is my courage! Dino. Don't call me that! My name is Dai. It's the name my grandpa gave to me. I fight the Dark Army. I'm Dai the Hero! I see. Very well. Then I suppose I shall call you by your human name. So, Dai, I shall defeat you as a hero who fights for the humans. If you will not submit yourself to me, this will be your end. Oh, right. Do I get to fight him? Oh, yes. So, uh, a father and son clash. Um, what time am I at this video? Oh, Jesus. It's... All right. We will save this for part 12, only because it's running at 52 minute mark. And also, it's just a bunch of things that I need to take care of as well. I will be doing this immediately. All right. Um, or maybe I'll level up a little bit. I don't know. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.